Ladies and gentlemen, I need to talk to you guys. This is mostly to my fans. Or the people who really like my BHCs. I'm here to basically talk to you guys about Raven Kid. And if you think that I'm gonna be making this video like saying, Raven Kid's an asshole, he's a big prick. No! no! That's not what I'm doing. Yes, you may seem shocked about that, but that is not what I am doing. Mainly, mainly for this reason. That commentary I made on Raven Kid it was a it was a big mistake. It was a big fuck up. And this was pretty much pointed out to me by him and a few of his fans as well, which I do agree with some of their you know, which I do agree with some of their arguments. But I is but it's not I'm not going to be bitching about that. It's just some of the some of you guys just seem to get this impersonation that all old school Sonic fans are bad. Now, this may be due to the fact that you know, the way I explain ain't the old schoolers to be seeming like, I don't know, some, some evil, an evil group of people who don't, who aren't able to accept the game. It's kind of my fault, nonetheless. It's, it's morally my fault because of the way I kind of stated it. Not morally yours, so don't go blaming yourself. However, that still doesn't give you guys the excuse to be just bashing on a, on a person. Person, just pretty much. Now, I know I may be sounding hypocritical right now, but just hear me out. I was entirely wrong about Raven Kid. I was, in, I was completely wrong about him. And some of the people who just, like, make comments about him, just treat this guy like he's another Naho resident in Tessie's 125. No! He's not that at all. I mean, one thing I do respect this guy for is the fact that out of all the people who bitched about Sonic having a new character model, he at least gave, him, gave his own reasons to not like it. And I respect that. I respect an opinion if there's actually a good reason around it. Or at least a reason, or at least a reason in general. He said that, oh, Sonic wasn't cute, he didn't look cuddly, he doesn't look cool at all, he just kind of looks ugly. Man, I didn't agree with it, but at least he gave it, at least he gave a reason. Plus, I kind of just jumped to conclusions in that commentary as well, thinking that, oh, well, if he thinks that if the new generation model I don't suck, then he must think Sonic 4 is going to suck. That's not really true, which I did learn, thanks to the one comment someone put on Blip. He doesn't think the game's gonna suck, he just doesn't like the character model. See, there is a difference. There's a difference between not being able to like something and thinking the game's gonna suck, and not liking a certain thing yet still gonna give the game a chance. That's fair enough. I'll give him that. But the one thing I can't really stand is, um, you know, sorry if this might offend you, but you guys. Not Rave of Kids, Ed, or, or his friends and fans, just you guys. The people who say that, oh, all old school Sonic fans are bad, because, you know, that's not true. That is entirely not true. I mean, I understand if you don't like a Naho Resident Tessie's 125, I don't like him either. But just because somebody prefers the old school games over the new generation games, doesn't mean that they're a raging old school fan who can't accept the new generation games. That is not true. Raven Kid, for example, is one of them. One of them. I mean, yeah, he he did say he didn't like the new generation mob, but at least he did say he is going to give Sonic 4 a chance, and he did give his own idea on how he thinks the game would be even better, which I do agree with. You know, the whole the whole oh map designing thing. I think that'd be cool. It'd be like the little feature in Little Big Planet. And come on, who doesn't like that game? <laughs> Sack boy. I mean, as soon as Raven Kid did make that commentary on my commentary, he, I've been getting all these messages saying, Oh, dude, Raven Kid's making a commentary on your video. Oh, Raven Kid's making a commentary on your video. You should beat his ass. Like, dude, do you honestly think I care? In fact, I even left a comment on uh, Raven Kid's commentary saying, mm, I do agree with some of the things you've said. Ed, I'm a tad bit impressed with it. <laughs> Pretty much show some of the people who, make, who send me these things that I don't give a shit. And besides, it would be a tad bit hypocritical if I were to bitch about somebody making a commentary when I made a commentary on that same person. And besides, I did make a mistake, so... Had this coming. Although there are some things I did disagree with Raven Kid about, like, uh... You know, the whole bit where he said about, you know, me liking Sonic Next Gen and Sonic and the Black Knight. Yes, I do like those games, but... For Sonic Next Gen, I do prefer some of the uh, older Sonic games, like the Genesis version games. Over Sonic Next Gen, the reason I liked Sonic and the Black Knight is because, well, I'm a big fan of, like, sword stuff. And, you know, I, you know, I did ask myself this one question, like, what Sonic would be like with a sword, so I was pretty much tempted into this. And Shadow the Hedgehog, I just like it because it's action-packed. 
But hey, it's your opinion, so I'm not even going to bite. But anyway, getting off topic, to my fans, you really got to you really got to stop like jumping on the on the oh, you old schooler bandwagon cuz it's really getting annoying with me. Because every time there's usually like, I don't know, some old school Sonic fan like bitching about like some character model, I'm usually always one of the first people to hear it. Because someone usually just sends me a message saying like, oh dude, check out this one person. Okay, well technically I wouldn't be the first person to say that, so scratch what I just said there. Like, So, yeah, someone will usually just send me a message about this one certain particular fan. Like, And I'll sometimes look at it and I'll be like, dude, this guy's nowhere in comparison to people like an owl resident. Raven Kid, you were one of them. I saw Shadsouls11 talking about you and I kind of just assumed that pretty much what I said in the commentary and I turned turned out I was completely wrong. And I do apologize for that. So anyway, to finish this all up, Raven Kid, I'm sorry about the commentary. Yes, I should have done my research. If you want me to remove the commentary, I will. And to my fans who think that Raven Kid is a blittering asshole, Please, stop blowing this the whole fuck out of proportion. This was just blown way out of proportion. I'm not entirely mad at you, it's just... Really, it was just blown out of proportion. And this turned into something I really didn't want it to turn into. So hopefully this can end right now. I don't want to start a war or anything. I don't want to... I don't want to start any hate fighting, hate violence or hating or anything. I screwed up. I made a mistake. And I apologize for it. I'm Agent 1, and I'll see you in the next video.